Hey, what's up guys, it's Franz here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be giving you my price predictions for Cardano. Now, I'll be giving you my conservative price predictions as, as well as a pretty realistic slash optimistic price targets for Cardano. Now, this last weekend, Cardano recently pumped to $1.48, I believe, and it's recently pulling back since then. So again, in my opinion, not financial advice, if I didn't own any Cardano right now, especially after given the fact of this pullback, I will certainly consider adding Cardano in my portfolio if I didn't own any Cardano right now. But I own 18% of my portfolio in Cardano. So for me, I'm kind of waiting, I'm patiently waiting. If Cardano were to hit under a dollar, I would certainly buy more Cardano under a dollar. Again, that's because I already have 18% of my portfolio in Cardano. So guys, in this video, I'll show you just massive fundamental news on the Cardano space, why I believe that the price, even right now at the pullback, is way, way undervalued. I believe that Cardano has so much potential that I'll be sharing with you guys in this video today. All right, guys, before we get started, I would definitely appreciate it if you guys give me a thumbs up below. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. I'm really trying to make YouTube into my full-time job. I currently work 60 hours a week right now as an auditor but I would like to make videos every day for you guys so I can make YouTube into my full-time job. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right guys, so the first news that I want to share with you guys today is the fact that majority of Cardano's supply is stake. Guys. Almost 72% of all ADA is now stake on Cardano. So that's, that's crazy insane guys. So let's actually take a look at how much Cardano out there circulating in the market. Let's, let's look at CoinGecko. So currently right now, 30, 32, almost 32 billion Cardano is circulating. And, and out of that 32 billion, guys, 72% of that is staked. And you guys know supply and demand, guys. If majority of Cardano is being staked, locked away, that's gonna do massive, massive price action, especially when people start buying Cardano. You know, there's not a lot of Cardano circulating right now. It's majority of it is staked. So when people start to buy Cardano, it makes sense that the price will massively, massively increase, uh, just given the fact that it's all locked up. All right, guys, so let's take a look at uh, cryptocurrency rankings in terms of staking. So right now, guys, Cardano ranks number one in terms of total value staked and total market cap. So in terms of large cryptocurrencies, Cardano is one of the best, guys, for staking. So 74% of Cardano is being staked. So the best way to compare Cardano is to compare it with its peers, its large peers. So we have Polkadot to compare it to as well as Ethereum. So with Polkadot, guys, Polkadot only 64% of Polkadot is staking versus 74% for Cardano. And if we look at Ethereum 2.0, it's only it's only 3% of Ethereum stake, guys. So in terms of massive supply shock, Cardano definitely has the edge there. But in terms of staking rewards, Cardano only provides roughly 4.21% annualized versus Polkadot 13%, and then Ethereum 2.0, 8.28%. So in terms of the reward side, it doesn't have uh, the benefits of Polkadot or Ethereum, but it does have the benefits of the staking side, the fact that the majority of its tokens are locked up, which will do massive, massive wonders for its price later on, especially when people start to buy and realize that there's not a lot of Cardano circulating out there in the market. All right, guys, so the next news that I want to share with you guys today is there's a global crypto investment fund, FD7 Ventures. They plan on selling $750 million worth of USD, Bitcoin, to buy Cardano and Polkadot, guys. So that's insane. So right now, they're probably saying that they want to allocate, they want to give their portfolio a little bit of alpha. We all know Bitcoin is safe, guys. Again, not financial advice. I believe that Bitcoin is the blue chip. It's the S&P 500 of crypto. So in their eyes, they want to allocate something to a little bit more risky, uh, a little bit more alpha in their portfolio. So that's why they're allocating $750 million worth of Bitcoin into Cardano and Polkadot, guys. So that's going to be insane. Good news for Cardano and Polkadot holders. All right, guys, so another news that I want to share with you guys today is the fact that um, Cardano is not listed in Coinbase right now, and Coinbase is the largest North American exchange by volume. So the fact that Cardano is not listed in Coinbase, we all know that a lot of coins gets pumped, especially once it gets listed in Coinbase. Like, it happened to ban protocol. So many coins in 2020 pumped because it got listed into Coinbase. So right now, even at a dollar something for Cardano, the fact that it's not even listed in Coinbase, we're, we're definitely way, 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 way behind in terms of price action. Once it gets listed into Coinbase, but until then, until we get listed into Coinbase, I'll be happy keeping my Cardano until it gets listed here. 
All right, guys, so another news for Cardano is the fact that Cardano actually wants to integrate in Africa, the whole continent of Africa. So Cardano's strategy is to implement blockchain into Africa. Let's actually take a look at that real quick. All right, guys, so it looks like Cardano has a massive, massive project in Africa. They're calling it Smart Africa. It's, it's going to be insane, guys. Like, can you imagine a whole continent integrating the Cardano blockchain? So with that, the total market cap of Cardano, what, what is it right now? The total market cap of, Car of Cardano of right under 40 billion, especially when a whole continent is going to implement the blockchain. That's just insane. That's way undervalued, especially right now. Apple is two point something trillion dollars and, you know, Cardano is only 40 billion. You know, so that definitely that tells me that this, this project is, is undervalued. So I would certainly be buying more if I get the chance. All right, guys, so let's actually move on to my price targets of this video. Again, so many, so many fundamental news, but I want to move on to my price targets of my video. Um, so we can sort of see what a realistic price target would be for Cardano, especially in this bull market cycle run right here. All right, guys, so real quick, again, I have this live version of my portfolio up online. You guys can see this. I'll put a link in the description box below of my portfolio. Currently, 18% of my portfolio is in Cardano, so I'm quite happy with that. Again, if Cardano were to go back under a dollar, I would certainly buy more. All right, guys, so let's take, let's take a look at my price analysis for Cardano. So currently right now, uh, it's, it's roughly 32 billion of Cardano is circulating. Yes, 32 billion. So let's just assume that by the end of the bull market, just to be aggressive, that 33 billion of Cardano is circulating. My cryptocurrency total market cap prediction is $7 trillion. Again, for me, that's conservative. It could be higher than that, but for me, $7 trillion is very conservative. And let's take a look at Cardano's dominance from back then. All right, guys, so back then, if we were to take a look, um, where is Cardano? Okay, so I, I believe Cardano's uh, highest market share of the total cryptocurrency valuation is roughly about 3%, if I'm not mistaken. So let's actually take a look at that. Where is... Okay, so yeah, roughly 3% was the highest total market share for Cardano during the 2018, January 2018 altcoin cycle. So, you know, if, if we were to take a look at my conservative cryptocurrency valuation of $7 trillion at 3% of that being Cardano, that would put Cardano at a market cap of roughly $210 billion, guys. So for that to happen, let's actually take a look at what, what the price of Cardano would have to be in order for that to happen. All right, guys, so for it to be roughly $210 billion, Cardano would have to be roughly between six and $7. So six and $7 would be a quite realistic price target for Cardano, in my opinion. Now again, 3% is quite conservative as well, especially even the $7 trillion market cap is quite conservative. So let's assume that Cardano can really, really gain market share against Ethereum against Polkadot and it really leads against the protocol space. Now, I don't believe that Cardano will overtake Ethereum, especially not in this market cycle. It doesn't have projects built on it yet. It's gonna take some time if Cardano were to take it over Ethereum. It might take two or three cycles from now, but I don't think it's gonna do that. So for me, I'm, I'm gonna put a, a market share of Cardano of 5%. I believe that's quite realistic, especially in this market cycle. So that would give Cardano a total projected market cap of 350 billion especially if we were to hit a 5% market share in the total cryptocurrency market. So for that to happen, guys, we would have a price of Cardano of at least $10 for it to hit a $350 billion market share. All right, guys, so another metric that I wanna look at is it's very realistic for Cardano to be the price of Ethereum's all-time high back in January 2018. So back in January 2018, guys, Ethereum hit an all-time high market cap of 145 billion plus or minus. So I believe that it's very realistic for Cardano to hit that valuation, especially in this market cycle. So for that to happen, um, that would be a price of Cardano of roughly between four and five dollars. So four and five dollars price target for Cardano if we were to hit the 145 billion dollar target for Cardano. Now. One more metric that I want to look at is going to be comparing it against Ethereum. My conservative price target for Ethereum is roughly $10,000. So that would give it a valuation of $1 trillion. Now, if we take a look at guys at the markets out there, you know, a lot of companies out there have 
dominant, especially Apple right now. Apple has 2.2 trillion. Let's take a look at Apple's market cap. So Apple's market cap is $2.2 trillion. Yes, $2.2 trillion Apple's market cap. And if we take a look at Samsung, Yeah, so Samsung's market cap is roughly 25%. So about roughly $552 billion for Samsung's market cap. So a lot of things out there, guys. I'm not saying that Ethereum is going to be the Apple and Cardano is going to be the Samsung, but I'm just saying that, you know, a lot of these things, especially if they're really tight competition, you know, 25% is a very realistic market share, especially sharing the protocol space. Ethereum, Cardano, Polkadot, these are all protocols. So for me, 25% Cardano and then 100% Ethereum is definitely realistic. So given the fact that I believe that Ethereum can hit $1 trillion valuation, Cardano hitting 25% of that at $250 billion to me is very realistic. So for Cardano to hit a $250 billion market cap, that would give it a price of roughly between $7 and $8. So $7 and $8, especially with my price targets for Ethereum of roughly $1 trillion, Seven or eight dollar Cardano is very realistic, so that would give it twenty five percent of Ethereum's market share would be in Cardano. So that's very realistic, realistic for me, guys. All right, guys. So those are my price targets. Price targets for Cardano. Again, these are very very conservative price targets. So it ranges from roughly five dollars all the way up to ten dollars. So for me, five to ten dollar Cardano is quite conservative. Now, once we get past ten dollars. Um, you know, $15, $20, those are quite moon boy targets for me, but I don't believe that Cardano will pass $1 trillion valuation, especially in this market cycle. You know, let's actually take a look. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys one moon boy price target for Cardano. Again, very unrealistic, but just to have fun, just for the sake of having fun, let's take a look at what Cardano's price would have to be to hit the $1 trillion valuation. I believe it's roughly, yeah, roughly above $30, guys. So if Cardano breaks $30, we would really be approaching the $1 trillion valuation. Again, that's that's a moon boy target. Um, very, very, very small chance we hit that, especially in this market cycle. I don't, I highly doubt it. Um, maybe in the next market cycle, maybe 2024, 25, somewhere in that time frame. But in this market cycle, I find it highly unlikely. Again, $30 Cardano is my moon boy price prediction. So th there you guys go. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. Again, I really appreciate all of you guys that stayed until the very end of the video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't liked the video already, definitely hit the thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, guys. I'll see you next time.